Chiku liked to watch squirrels in the park near his house. When he was tired of playing with his friends, he would lie on the grass and watch the squirrels. He always carried peanuts in his pocket and left some on the ground hoping that the squirrels would come down and eat them. They did just that. And Chiku even noticed a particularly plump squirrel that was bolder than the others. She often came close to him and quickly picked up a nut in her mouth before running back to the tree. Slowly, she came to recognize Chiku and every evening when she saw him, she would call out to him with a shrill Chiku Tichu. Gradually, she even learned to accept nuts from his palm. Chiku named her Chiku Tichu. It was the beginning of a long friendship between Chiku and Chiku Tichu. Chiku always recognized Chiku Tichu as her ears were darker than the other three striped squirrels in the park. One day, when Chiku was helping Ba clean the courtyard, he saw Chiku Tichu sitting on the terrace and calling out to him. Happy and surprised, Chiku told Ba, Look! Chiku Tichu has come to our house. Ba smiled and said, Maybe she reached the terrace by climbing the drain pipe. As Ba was speaking, Chiku Tichu jumped into the courtyard, ate some crumbs and scampered away to the park. Chiku told Ba excitedly, I am so happy that Chiku Tichu came to meet me. Ba thought for a while and answered, It should be all right as long as she does not build a nest in the house. Soon, Ba forgot all about Chiku Tichu, but Chiku was sad. For the past few days, he had not seen her in the garden. Then, one day, Chiku opened the door to his room and heard a rustle. Frightened, he closed the door immediately and called out to Ba. She held his hand and said, Come, let us look in your room. Maybe it is just a bee. Ba opened the door and saw the shadow of a squirrel behind the window curtain. The squirrel peeped out from behind to see what was happening. Chiku recognized her and jumped with joy. Oh, it's my Chiku Tichu! But Chiku Tichu was frightened and ran out of the room. Ba lifted the curtain and informed Chiku, Chiku Tichu has built a nest in a niche on top of the door. She asked Chiku to climb a chair and bring the nest down. The nest was a huge ball of coconut fiber that the squirrel had woven 
with strings and rags. But it was empty. Ba picked it up and went to the park with Chiku. Then Ba left the nest near a tree. They hid behind a tree and saw how Chikutichu picked up her nest in her mouth and carried it up the tree, placing it on a branch. Two weeks later, Chiku went back to the park to find Chikutichu. This time, she was not alone, but had two tiny baby squirrels by her side. Ba gave a bag of peanuts to Chiku, saying, Chiku Tichu may have a brain no bigger than a jawar seed, but she has the memory of an elephant.